Hi, I'll be, I will continue to my project and we will continue to uh, create tables. In last video, we, we created these ones and now I will create this table. It's a main table for duties. Uh, let's start. Okay. Let's create first table and after that we will need some additional uh, features. Okay, table first. Okay, our table is ready. Now I need an F, uh, app, consult app consultant field. Uh, for app consultant I will use uh, human resources uh, records so i will use hm worker rec id uh, this one hmm. okay i need uh, i need to add a model uh, for this one okay uh, I I want to use uh, worker rec ID, but uh, if I want to use this one, I need to add personal core uh, package to my model. Uh, let's update model parameters. FT activity, okay. Yeah, let's choose this one. Okay. Now let's try again. Uh, now it asked me if I want to create a foreign key relation to reference table. Yes, I want to create this one and I want to change uh, the field name and uh, for field label. Okay, I created first field one. So second one is cost account. So I want to use cost account. Okay, third one description of course. Uh, detection date. Uh, I will use trans date for this one, and but I will change the name detection date. Okay. Dev duration. Okay. I need a real for this one. Now I. I can create an extended type for uh, duration, but I want to show you to you to the use of directly simple uh, uh, ones. So I will create um, a field. It's not the best practice to create like this, but you can, and I want to show you. So let's create this one. Okay. Uh, also, I need another uh, worker rec ID. This one is for developer. And okay. Developer. I change the label okay docu duration now i can uh, duplicate and docu duration okay 
Okay. Okay. Now uh, I need a duty ID uh, for this one. Let's create a new stamp data type. String. And properties. I want to change string size. Okay. And so I can I can drop into here. Okay. Okay, now I need a duty status. A duty status is a enum, so I need to create an enum for this one. And let's add new item and say enum. Okay, I sorry, I need new element. For my enum, I will create element. So let's look. We have eight. Another one. First element must be none, and we need okay empty, and second suspended. Okay, and play. Suspended. Third scheduled. Scheduled. Started. Finished. Created. And okay, my enum is ready. Now I can use this enum as a field and Duty subject. Duty subject actually uh, a string field, so I can uh, copy from description. And of course, I need to see. Um, okay. And I need to use duty type ID. Let's call project and duty type ID. It will, in general, it it will uh, ask you to create a foreign key relation, but. Uh, maybe because I didn't synchronize uh, my project yet, it 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 it, it wasn't uh, ask the question. If so, you can create manually. So let's create new relation for our duty type. And. I need to choose related table with a duty type and let's create new normal relation with 
of DT type ID and DT type ID. Okay. Select related field. Okay. Now a duty table, duty type ID, and duty type, duty type ID are related. Okay, it works perfectly. Uh, hey Jim, let's change the name distillation because we use um, this one. Okay. Now continue. We need end dates and project ID start date. Okay. We have end dates uh, di directly here we can use and also start date and project ID and Last test duration, okay. Update this one and test duration. Let's change this one, okay. Now my uh, fields are ready, uh, but I need to create and set properties first of all i i have duty id and it must be elevated no and mandatory yes also subject and uh, maybe and uh, maybe cost account project id and um, some description and mandatory okay uh, for this one i will create uh, more than one index but first of all i need to create a primary index for this one and this primary index uh, is duty id and to drag and drop and this also is this key is also an alternative key okay for performance uh, i will create more index for this table because most of the time i will uh, select probably with project id or cost account or maybe i want to look at developers duties or uh, consultant duties so i will create related index for this table too now uh, let's look our table properties and for title field let's use duty id and duty object okay cash crop is a transaction table so i will use not in tts and I will change my duty ID. And as I said, this is a transaction table. And also I want to see who created and when created this one, also who modified and when modified this one. Okay. Mm. Okay, that's, that's enough. Uh, for for this one and let's create our reference okay now uh, in this video uh, we created our duty table and our duty status basinum also uh, duty id uh, exam data type okay it's over 15 minutes right now and uh, it's enough for this video i will continue to uh, my last two 
tables in the next videos. I hope it, uh, it will uh, help you to learn uh, C++ and see you. Happy taxes.